Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subaraju. In this video session, we will try to observe frames. What is a frame? Why frames are required? Frame set, frame, no frames. How these tags are functioning on the web page? We will observe. First one, what is a frame? Frame is nothing but a kind of border to divide a page into multiple frames and using frame set we can divide the web page using frame we can call the resources to the web page now first initially frame set who developed this concept this concept developed by netscape corporation to show multiple resources on a single page Due to several reasons in the industry right now we are not using frame set. But even though this video session making you very clear regarding frames, HTML frames mainly. Now frame set. Using this tag we can divide a web page as multiple frames. It is a paid tag. Paid tag means opening available, closing available, that related attributes rows, percentage, pixels, calls, pixels, percentage, border, pixels, border, color, color name you can use, color code you can use. So, this is a frame set. Only frame set, we are unable to call resources. That time we are using another tag, frame. Frame is a non-paid tag. It is used to call external resources. It has several attributes, non-paid tag, several attributes available. Source, name, scrolling. Source means file path, name, any name, scrolling as yes, no default. First, we will concentrate on these two areas. Come to source code environment, HTML frames, writing frame set, frame set. Once a frame set opened, closing required. So, frame set inside frame available. F R A M E frame. Frame inside first attribute is SRC source is equal to and I am providing source is HTTP www.nareshit.com. Yes, I am not giving any resources. Come down and I am providing Necker services or seshajobs.com. Yes, I provided two URLs. Double quotation open, double quotation you to close. Rows available. Rows equal to 50 percent, comma 50 percent. Initial I am using percentage. So, in this simple example, what I try to show, this is my page for example, I am putting rows like this and this is rows attribute. This is first 50 percent, this is second 50 percent, first 50 percent narayshit.com, second 50 percent seshajobs.com. This is what exactly output will come, but really output coming or not like that? Practically, we can see. Right, save that. Title I opened. Body level, all are correct. Everything opened. But output coming or not. Right, refresh the web page. No output. Here we did one small mistake. Frame set does not require body section. When you are keeping body tag, frames unable to run. Come back to source code. Remove body just body down. Now, we will try to refresh. Perfectly working. This is rows. Upper one narayshit.com. Lower one seshajobs.com. So, simple point you need to understand. That is the default nature of the frames. Frames never required body part. Where required? Definitely, we will see example. This is, these are the two websites. One is NareshIT.com, another one is job portal, Naresh IT job portal. 
seshajobs.com. Visit for latest updates, latest IT jobs. Every second we are updating and latest batches information. This is our upcoming batch information. Now come down that and available every information completely. So this information we can able to view means in a single web page we are we can able to see two resources, three resources, four resources, n resources. Right now two resources available. Come back and there is another attribute available calls equal to. I am providing 50 percent comma 50 percent means one web page horizontally one line vertically one line and means practically what happens like this and first line is like this coming and second line is like this coming. This is columns, this is rows, first website is coming here, second website is coming here, next third website is coming here, next fourth website is coming here. Like this a page we can divide it into multiple frames. So, now that resources we can provide. I am providing another website, nakerservices.com and other website, nareshit.in. Now, I am providing here, nakerservices.com. Another one is, nareshit.in. Now, total four resources I provided and body is not there here, body another environment. I will show you where body required. Now, I am going to run how this is dividing, observe, four parts, perfectly four parts available, one, two, three, four. Like this, we can able to view multiple resources on that. So, four resources perfectly open, due to some problems that is not open, four resources perfectly open. Now, we'll come back, come back to our original resource. Now, if I provide this one is 40 percent, if I provide this one is asterisk, yes, your expectation correct, left side 40 percent, remaining 60 percent right side will take. This is also one kind of opportunity to provide asterisk, means special character. Save it and refresh it, observe how it is adjusting, adjusted. So, four parts available, this part more available because this is 60 percent, this is 40 percent. Now, good and for example, I am opening two websites practically to show you some more in detailed manner, remove columns, come to 50 percent, right I am refreshing my web page, two parts perfectly displayed. Now, once you are coming back here, by default scrolling available, observe this is also scrolling available and even this is also scrolling available. Now, scrolling attribute I want to apply, first one I want to say scrolling is equal to S of course, by default and I can say same scrolling attribute on your second URL, scrolling is equal to I said no. So, as per our expectation, first one displays, second one should not be, means second one absent, right, refresh and the same web pages opening and first one already presented and here scroll bar able to see clearly, but whereas here scroll bar is not there because you implemented attribute scrolling is equal to no. So, what attributes we did, clarity purpose, let me show, rows we did calls we did, border, border color pending available and source we did, again name pending, scrolling already we did. Now, I am showing before that third tag, no frames available because body already there, I am not using like this body empty available. Imagine my browser not supporting frames, that time we are using another tag is called no frames. No frames is a paid tag. Once no frames inside, whatever the text you are writing, for example, paragraph, oops, your browser unable to support frames. 
So whenever you are writing this message, if browser supports, frames part will be displayed. If browser not supports, body part will be displayed. No frames always write in body section. It is the most important note point. So body section contains no frames part. So it executes when frames not supporting. It executes when frame supporting. Means this example pretty clear. If supporting, body part. If not supporting, non-body part. So example is very clear. So this is no frames tag. Total frames are classified into three types. Frame set, frame, no frames. Frame set paid tag, frame non-paid tag, no frames also paid tag. Now, I want to show you more examples. These formalities does not require by default. Remove it. This is already understood. Whenever not supporting, this part will be displayed. If you want a color also, you can mention style is equal to color red. Save it and this part will be displayed in red color. That means your browser not supporting. Right body part also I am displayed, removed. Only frames part available. No scrolling by default S. No scrolling by default S. That is all. My plain example I want to show you. Without no body, no head, nothing. Perfectly running. Of course, real time industry purpose like this example is not recommended. But we can practice. Practice purpose, no restrictions required. So, by default, no body available, no head available. Of course, HTML document default section is body. But in frame set, default section is frame set only. So, frame set open, frame set closed. Now, here two attributes pending. The attribute is nothing but border is equal to. Border is you want more thickness. Border is equal to pixels. And I am running. Observe this border, very lean available. Now I want block, means thick level. And now the border is showing little bit thick level. Maybe that much visibility is not there. Border visibility is there, but visibility not that much good. Now that time we are implementing border color attribute. Border color is equal to, I said blue, simply color name I wrote. Come on, refresh that. Now, visibility available. Thickness available. So, completely showing to you. Now, you want to increase the border thickness. I will come back and I am writing that 30 pixels for example. Write refresh. Now, you can observe once I refresh. See the thickness. So, border property making thickness or light. Border color making that visibility very clear. So, this is border border color. These frames are providing these many facilities, these many resources we can able to see on the web page. But unfortunately, these frames are not using in HTML5 environment because frames not compatible for latest gadgets and widgets. That is a main issue. Because of this reason, in latest web environment, iframe tag entered. Before we are discussing iframe tag, at least we can see what are the disadvantages of frames existed, we can able to view. So, there are the number of disadvantages available. These many disadvantages we can able to view. These disadvantages are making frames are not recommended in the latest web environment. So, once you open on a single web page, multiple resources, maybe six websites we open. I want to copy six website URL, not possible. I want to see fourth website history, not possible. I want to see second website, last page or next page or total web page I want to take print out. So, these many restrictions existed in the frames. That is the reason frames are not recommended in the advanced web environment. As I said already, these frames occupied by iframe tag. But in this video session, I made already 
each and every point related to frames very clearly. Practice whatever the examples I shown to you. In final, I am providing one point to you also. NareshIT.com you open, .in you open, SeshaJobs.com you open, or NakerServices.com you open. All these are Naresh Technologies feather companies. If you try to open one Google.co.in, one Gmail application, one Bing.com, or one Yahoo.co.in, like these websites you are trying, frames unable to open, unable to support those websites. Practically, we can see that example. Now, come back and we can try to check it. Remove all the things because already you got a clarity here and save it. Now, I am opening google.co.in. I am providing more clarity and I am opening here another website for example, yahoo.co.in or bing.com. Anyone, any other website you can take, even Facebook, any kind of just bing.com I said. Now, I am coming back and I am refreshing another browser I am taking and refresh just. Yes. Once you refresh, bing.com opened, but google.com saying. So, Google itself giving very clearly one clarity. Frames does not have any future. Right now, I am not working using frames. That is an indication. So, maximum websites already out of frame set, out of frame. So, when frame set and frame not available, there is no discussion about the no frames. So, this is a main error also. Maybe when you are practicing other websites, you will get this kind of doubt. That is the reason in this video session, that doubt also I made very clear. Definitely in advanced video sessions, I will discuss with you what is the functionality of the iframe. Thank you for watching my videos. For more videos, catch me on youtube.com slash